At least. Hello? Hello, you've been just through to Anna. I'm a team supervisor in the enforcement department. Can oh. I take your name, please? Hi, mate. Hi. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I was just wondering, have, have you... Um, can you force entry for a water bill to a um, residential I'm premises? To? Sorry? Who am I talking to at the moment? Sorry. Your name? My name's Mr. Smith. Okay. Can you force entry for a water bill at a residential premises? In relation to what sort of action? Well, any sort of action. A civil debt. Do you... Is it being... How is the... Who's trying to force entry? That's the question I need to know. Can because you... Can... Can Essex and Suffolk Water full century for a residential water bill? As in one of our own representatives or a no. representative... Anyone. Group. Anyone. It would depend on the action that's being taken. So if it's through a High Court Enforcement Officer... Yeah. They have power to full century. For a civil debt. So, yeah. So what I can do is... I can under what power can they full century under a civil debt? Because uh, as far as I was aware... High court it's a High Court Enforcement writ. Yeah. So what I can do, I can give you the website, um, which would outline exactly what powers they have to well, force entry. I, I don't think that anyone can force entry for a civil debt on a residential pro if, if, property. If we've gone to, um, if we've gone to High Court Enforcement, and yeah. we've applied to the High Court, yeah. they have a lot, lot of powers. But they don't have the power to full century for a civil debt on a residential property. How, how do you mean a full century? Full century, what, like break what? in, locksmith, break in. Um, if the property is being repossessed, they can do that. We're not talking about a property being repossessed. We're talking about a civil debt to a water company. Is it for yourself? No. It's for a friend right, of mine. Okay. Right. Can you um, full century for a civil debt a, on a residential premises? It would depend on the circumstances, Mr Smith. I would have to have a look at the account. No, I don't think it does. I think the law's quite clear on this matter. For a civil debt, you can't full century, I believe. If the door is left open... That's not forcing entry. That's peaceable entry. Right, so OK. Can you full century for a civil debt on a residential pro property? Um, let me have a look. No, I don't it, think you again, can. It would depend on the circumstances. No, I don't know. It, that's the circumstance. The circumstance best, is... Best, to be honest, the best people for you to ask... Yeah. If it's, if it's relating to an officer acting on behalf of a water company, such as a court bailiff, would be to speak to the county court to I've, find I've, exactly what powers... That yeah. officer specifically has. I, I know what powers that officer specifically has. And on a civil debt, you can't full century. To a, a residential in, premises. So you mean like literally breaking the door down and yeah, going in? Yeah, forcing entry, not not getting in peaceably. No, what would happen is if so the, the, how we would do it, we would be allowed to walk in, or if somebody walked, somebody left the door, it wouldn't be ours. It would be a high, uh, like a high court bailiff. Yeah, that's that's peaceable entry. Can you force entry? Yeah, but wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to break the door down. You wouldn't be able to break in. No worries, no worries. Because a lot of your letters sort of like, you know, sort of start st stating that you can almost break in. Just quickly, um, are you aware of the company that owns Essex and Suffolk Water? Yes. Yeah. yeah, do you know what they, you know, the, the holding company, do you know what they're called? Yes, it would be on the company's house. It's detailed on there. Oh, uh, no, I've, I've got the name. Are you aware of it, though? Yeah, Chong, uh, I can't pronounce it because it is Chinese. Chong Kong Infrastructure Holdings, yeah? Infrastructure. CKI, yeah, Chinese yeah, company. We call them CKI. Yeah. yeah, CKI. Did you know they made a six hundred and thirty million pound in profit in the last two years from you that, guys? That would not be any concern of mine. So I'm just. Well, you work for the company. I mean, I tell you what is a concern of yours you is they're stiffing you for your there. pensions, aren't they? Uh, that's not really. I can't give you any personal. I'm not asking. No, pensions, no. Sir. Not asking for if personal information, but GBM, the union, doing. and Unite are balloting the members because uh, CKI Infrastructure Holding, the, the Chinese company that own you, they've made £630 million in profit, but they're screwing you guys out of your pensions. So, 
Uh, uh, how is with, it with that maybe you can ask for this information through the data collection? I don't need to ask. I've got the I've got this information. I've got this information. It's just that I just wanted to appeal to your better nature because um you know a lot of people have got a big problem with paying such massive water bills when a foreign company have earned six hundred and thirty million pound in two years out of us. And even though they've earned six hundred and thirty million pound in two years profit they are right. still going to screw the workers out of their pensions, which is you. Mm, I have a pension. Yeah. Have, do you know what they're doing with your pension? Yeah, or you just, or are you just completely, you know, sort of like so far involved in, in your job that, you know, you, you're just going in, doing what you're told, not questioning anything. Is that what you're doing? I'm trying to answer your questions, but I'm not going to take a personal attack. No, it's no. not. A, it's not I a personal attack. Personal. Well, that's how it seems to be coming across. Isn't well, very so simply, very simply. My private. My private. Ah, I wasn't talking about your private, private pension, was I? I was talking about the company pension. Yeah, that GMB what and you? Unite are balloting their members over because you're getting screwed out of your pro company pension. Even though uh, they've made no, six hundred and thirty million pound in two years, they still want more and now because they can't get it out of the customers because we're getting wise to you water companies they've decided to to, to target their employees right well that's not something i'm i'm aware of maybe um, you should look into it have a well, google have, have a google of essex and suffolk water pensions yeah and have a look mate because uh gmb big union and unite another big union are balloting their members about the pensions, because you're all going to be screwed over for your pensions. Well, I thought that that actually I actually finished back in January. It might, oh, so you were aware of it? Well, that, that's the latest one. That was oh, the right, okay. So you did gone. you get screwed out your pensions or not? No. No? Oh, wicked, wicked. So they didn't succeed in doing that grab, just like they're not going to succeed in making a massive grab on, uh, you know, water charges. Well, I can't comment on other people's pensions, but I know mine was fine. Oh, OK. That, that's good. As long so as you're you all right. Any... Yeah, yeah, fine. I mean, Great. if you want any information about pensions on a whole... No, no, no. I just thought I'd let you know, because just in case you didn't know. No, no, I'm absolutely fine, yeah. thank you. Just, so. just to go back to the original point, civil debt can't fall century. We wouldn't break the door then, no. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. There you go, guys. Um, all these letters that you know I'm seeing from water companies saying they can full century, they can't full century. There's some other things they can do. Just get a little bit of information about it, get a little bit of knowledge about it. It makes it so much easier. Thank you.